Hello everyone. In the previous videos, we have seen the control and coordination in the human beings. So let's have a look on the control and coordination of plants. Now when you look at the plants, they don't seem to have a well coordinated system. You must have seen they must be growing anywhere they find a space. But this is not true. They are coordinated but not as finely as human beings. This is because they do not have a specialized system which, which control and coordinate them. They show the movement either by a stimuli or growth. So let's see these movements one by one. So let's see the movement by stimuli. Now the movement by stimuli is very fast and does not involve any growth procedure. Now I remember when I was younger and I used to touch the touch me not plant or which we call as a chewy mui plant. As soon as I used to bring my hand near to the plant or the near leaf, it used to get shrink and it used to grow back. Now these sensitive plants follow a very simple rule. Now when we touch a touch me not plant or a sensitive plant, we touch only the tip but the entire leaf shrinks, which means the tip transfers the information to the entire leaf. The plant does this by sending the electrical and chemical means to convey the information cell to cell. They do not have any specific or specialized tissues to transfer these informations to the leaves. These plant cells changes the amount of water resulting in the swelling and shrinking and thereby changing the shape of the cells. So, in this way, the plants changes or responds to the stimuli. Now we have seen the stimulus or the stimuli effect on the plant. In the next video, we are going to see the tropism or the growth movements in the plants.